Trinity exposed number 22. Jesus is equal to God the Father. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, so God the Son, doesn't appear. The form of God. All right? He's the express image of the Father, the Bible says. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He's equal with God. Because he is God. But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. His name while he was here on the earth is Jesus. And that's going to go into eternity as well, I believe that. But the name there is the Lord. You know, all three parts of the Godhead can claim that title. They are the Lord. But let's look at some new version readings, these Vatican versions. What do they have to say? Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 in the Living Bible, today's Living Bible. Who, though he was God, did not demand and cling to his rights as God. Interesting. A common English Bible. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit. <laughs> okay. So he's not equal with God. Two of these new versions are both saying the same thing. What about the New American Standard Bible? who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. He's not equal with God. How about the English Standard Version? Who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. Very similar to the New American Standard barf. How about the NIV? Who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. It's real good. Here's a good one. This is a funny one. The Amplified Bible. If you want a good laugh, that's about all that the Amplified Bible is good for. That and starting fires if you really want to. Check this out. Who, although he existed in the form and unchanging essence of God, that's interesting that they would put essence in there from philosophers quoted by the Catholic Church, as one with him, possessing the fullness of all the divine attributes, the entire nature of deity, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped or asserted, as if he did not already possess it, or was afraid of losing it. <laughs> Boy, clear as mud there, you know. How about the uh, New American Bible, the Roman Catholic, official, their official translation, the revised edition of it? Um, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Almost exactly like the New American Standard Bible and the English Standard Version. Why? Because they're all Vatican versions. But it's interesting because, you see, if you truly believe in the Trinity, then you can't really truly say that Jesus Christ and God the Father are equal. They're separate. They're not the same. They're not the same. They're not equal. You see? Because, according to their system, God the Father... He's up in heaven as a separate being, and Jesus is down on the earth having bad things happen to him and whatever else, so he's inferior. He's an inferior God to God the Father. That's why Jesus said, my Father is greater than I. That's what you believe if you're a Trinitarian. You believe a satanic thing about Jesus Christ, and the new versions line up with what you believe. It's a problem.